Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of this knife. This is the Tangram Rumble, all right, designed by Kim Ning. Now, Kaiser is, or excuse me, Tangram is the budget line of Kaiser. All right, it's a liner lock. Listen to the uh, deployment via the flipper and the lockup. Yeah, nice, decisive. That is a well-designed flipper. I don't need any wrist action whatsoever to deploy the blade with the flipper. You see the pocket clip there too. It's a two position pocket clip. You see there's wear on the blade. Yes, I have used this. I got a lot of usage footage coming up. All right, but first the steel, a Kudo 440 Japanese steel on this. That's an appropriate steel for this price point. But if you're worried about the steel. I do believe people have done uh, edge retention tests on that steel, so you can look those up if you uh, are feeling nervous about it. But I'll just say it's an appropriate steel, you know, for a, a budget-friendly knife like this. G10 handle scales on this blade. All right, and I got two. They come in different colors. Uh, Kaiser sent these to me. They wanted my opinion, and you know, like every company, they want to know how to make more money by selling more of their product. How can they improve their product so that you guys want to spend your hard-earned money on their stuff? All right, well, you know, the low price point is a very good place to start. Uh, you know, I think this blade, whether you like it or not, it's all going to be about that blade shape, whether you like that shape. All right, this came very, very sharp. Here's the initial sharpness. I won't talk, just listen. Yeah, it came very sharp and, you know, I didn't talk because there... There's kinky people out there that want to hear that that paper dying slowly. All right, here's some tougher stuff for it. Cardboard. Now, when I test out a knife, I use it harder than a normal person would because I'm abnormal. Now, it's not because I'm abnormal. You know, if I'm going to give them my opinion, I have to put like extra usage on it in a short time. I think with a folding knife, you might open a package or two. Maybe you might even cut up a box for your, uh, for whatever, so it fits in your bin. But you probably wouldn't do hundreds and hundreds of cuts into cardboard uh, with your folding knife. But that's okay, because I will. So what can you tell from doing this? Well, you can tell if it has a good grip. Um, you know, if that handle was a lot smaller, it would be harder to do, at least for my size hands. You can also tell a lot about the performance of the blade shape. For example, because of that recurve, there's there's no danger of the edge losing contact with what I'm cutting. Where if, if I was using like, let's say a really curved butcher's knife, like a trailing point, you know, the um, with that, the edge is constantly falling away from what you're cutting, which forces you to kind of cut into it, which is good for a butcher's knife. Uh, but the recurve on this definitely has its uses. I mean, just like any recurve, check any of Ken Onion's designs, for example. You know the uses of a recurve. It it um it bunches up material. If it if it were soft material, it bunches up material and kind of like channels it and forces it to get cut. Right? If you uh, I didn't describe that very well, but you you know what I freaking mean. You all know what a recurve is. Got to be careful. Got to keep your fingers in, right? Or there'll be a finger flying at the screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have psoriatic arthritis, by the way. So, you know, if I crap out, like, towards the end, that that's not the knife. That's that's going to be my, <laughs> my hand, right? Yeah. Did some cuts. That wasn't even everything. That was edited because, um, you know, I can't. I'm not going to include 10 minutes of that. You get the idea. Yeah, just putting some wear and tear on the blade, getting a feel for it. Do I like it? It did well. Uh, the recurve, you know, it makes it better for cutting cardboard. I know they didn't, it wasn't designed for that, but it actually made it better than your average folder would have been. Wood is another test for a folder. You know, folders are hard to, uh, to test because you can't, 
you can't chop, you can't baton, you can't pry. I mean, unless you want to be accused of misusing your knife or abusing it. So what what do you what do you test it on? Well, cardboard and that's that's firewood. That's not uh, some soft ass whittling wood. That's actually firewood. So wood and cardboard are a good place to start if you want to be, you know, almost abusive to your folder, but not quite abusive. I'm making a letter opener, by the way, but it'll take a few more hours of finishing. But so you see, the recurve actually bites in too deeply for whittling. So I had to use uh, that other uh, section of the grind, the um, the flat grind section of the knife you see there for the whittling. But yeah, that'll be a quote letter opener. You can check out my previous video of my uh, another letter opener that I did if you want to see what it's going to look like. Uh, at the end but yeah this is just more uh more getting a feel for the knife you know i gotta put usage on it if they want my opinion you know so what is my opinion so far i think it's a very good knife for the price again it's all going to depend on if you like that blade shape and i would understand if if maybe that blade shape is not your thing but they have a lot of different tangram models so I'll include links to the others. Believe me, you will find a blade shape that, that suits you. But more about this blade, in case you hadn't noticed, it has two different grinds, right? That recurve section behind the edge there, there it's a hollow grind. See, my little uh, shank of death, and by that I mean letter opener, of course. But you see there's a hollow grind behind the recurve section, and then it moves to a flat grind, right, for, for that part. So that's interesting. Um, I imagine that that adds to the production cost of the knife, right? But it also adds to the versatility of it because, as you can see right there, the flat part is a lot better if you, uh, I mean, not that this is a bushcraft knife, but you never know. You might just need to whittle something or whatever, make a notch, a quick thing while you're camping, whatnot. And you saw a little bit of the recurve. That actually bites quite deep, the, the recurve, right? And it even has a... A sub tip which can draw cut all right let's 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 talk about all the types of cutting now that'll be a separate video but suffice to say it's um it's a versatile blade shape i would say and we haven't even talked about self-defense but uh look at the uh glorious jet setting lifestyle of youtube gear reviewers you guys are all going to come help me clean up right this is this is a team effort uh no it's it's not a team effort when when cleaning has to be done right no but um that's all going to go in the recycling bin right and that's from two other knives as well i tested two other kaisers during uh, uh this this festival of cutting so final thoughts the price is right interesting blade shape the steel is appropriate the flipping action was really good and initial sharpness was screaming sharp. All right, so what are some potential drawbacks or maybe reasons you would pass this model by? Well, one is the blade shape. You know, if you just prefer a different blade shape, then I would say check out the other Tangrams because they have a wide variety. Uh, the blade length is 3.8 inches. That is a little long for EDC. I, I think the most popular EDC length is around a three inch blade. So maybe you just want a, a shorter blade. Again, I'm sure Tangram has some uh, shorter models. And then of course there's the materials. Maybe you want like super steel, titanium frame lock. Yeah, that, you know, you're gonna have to go with the Kaisers rather than the Tangrams if you want the, uh, the pricier materials because that's just gonna cost you but they do have some nicer models if you want to pay more. All right, so a lot of stuff to consider. Please check out the Amazon links. They do support the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.